Joy to the world, the Lord is come. Let earth receive her King. Let every heart prepare Him room. And heaven and nature sing, and heaven and nature sing, and heaven and heaven nature sing. Joy to the earth, the Savior reign. Let men their songs employ While fields and floods, rocks, hills and plains Repeat the sounding joy, repeat the sounding joy Repeat, repeat the sounding joy He rules the world with truth and grace And makes the nations prove the glory of his righteousness and wonders of his love and wonders of his love and wonders wonders of his love joy to the world the lord is come let earth receive her king let every heart prepare him room and heaven and nature sing and heaven and Sing, and heaven and heaven and nature sing, and heaven and heaven and nature sing. Amen. <laughs> I'm used to having a band up here. I miss a chord, and I can hear it now. <laughs> okay, good. I'm glad to know that.
All right. Now that you're standing, you know, by the way, if you didn't know that song, it's okay. I didn't either. But I could hear my Baptist friends singing behind me. I knew they knew it. I didn't know it, but they knew it. And that, that was a good thing. This morning we talked about three thoughts uh, about Christmas. One was hostility. There will be people like Herod, that same spirit, full of hostility during this time of the year. They're just mean-spirited. They uh, they're, they're worse than the Scrooge and the Grinch rolled together. They just want to destroy Christmas. Then there's the indifference. People that were brought up with Christmas, but it means real little to them. But for those wise men, it was about worship. And uh, to me, that's what the big thing about Christmas is, worshiping the Christ child. But David's right. You're probably going to hear some things tonight that's going to be quite cute. I'm just glad it won't be me making the bloopers this time. All right, next thing is, while you're standing, you're able to reach your neighbor's, neighbor's neighbor. <laughs> woo -hoo! Amen. I already made a blooper, Kenneth. All right. You're going to be able to reach your neighbor's, uh, your neighbor's navel. Uh, your, your neighbor's billfo a little easier. We're going to take an offering up right now, so you can reach and get your billfo, be seated for a brief minute. And uh, we want everybody that can give tonight. This offering is exclusively going to go to our children who have a vision to go to the ark. Now, we're going to show you a little promo of the ark and what it's about in Kentucky. So if you need an offer, an envelope, and you want to be accounted for this, lift your hand. If you're giving straight cash, you can do that. If you're online, you want to give toward our kids, just write TLCC and put down for the ark because we're going to send our kids in June to go to Kentucky to see the, uh, this great big ark just like Noah built. There are a lot of people in church that have already gone. Who has gone to see that ark already? Lift your hand. Give envelopes to every hand that's up right now. Make sure those hands get those envelopes. Go ahead, sis, and show that little promo. When you, when you see that ark, understand it was a football field long and, and a football field wide. And it was several stories high, had a door on the side. And it's actually, when you look at the Old Testament part of it, it it's, it's shown in the New Testament as the church. That it was what it was an escape, if you would, a place with one door. Jesus said, I'm the way, the truth, and the life. Nobody comes to the Father except through me. There's no other way. You know, and, and I, I don't even make no apologies about it. Jesus just said it. He's... Uh, he is inclusive when it comes to that. I mean, he's, it's, there's no other way into the Father. No, no other God came. Nobody died for you except for Christ Jesus. That's why we celebrate this time. That's what we're going to keep teaching the kids, to help them learn that. Everybody got your offering? Amen. Come on now, let's give it. Father, we thank you for the offering. We thank you for an opportunity to be a blessing to the kids. God, we pray to all of them have a great time on their way to Kentucky. And listen, in your heart, if you have an opportunity over the next few months to give toward this, go ahead and give toward it. It's a great thing. Amen. Just pass him off from place around. I'll talk so there'll be no silence. When there's silence, there's threatening. It's always threatening when you hear silence. That's why when you go in a restaurant, you always hear that music playing. You go in some Mexican, I've gone in Mexican restaurants, the music picks up while you're eating. In other words, it makes you eat fast so you'll get out. Hey, man, when, when, it's, when it's slow, then, then they'll have the music, a little bit slower music. But, man, when they got to get you out the door, the music will pick up. Got to learn how to use music. Sister Rhea, you ready? Come here and share just a minute. Then we'll get on with the kids. Y'all give her a hand now. Uh, okay. Uh, I appreciate y'all being here. Thanks for supporting these kids. They got a long way to go, but they've come a long way. <laughs> uh, they worked really hard on this. We hope you all enjoy it. We've got ornaments. We've got T-shirts. In any way you can help, you're welcome to do so. Okay? We hope you enjoy it.
a try. Good luck on your search for the superhero. You got that right. Who is that? I'm training karate. I'm not afraid to use it. Better question, where are you? I'm right here. Do not be afraid. I am an angel from God. I bring you good news. Sheesh, lay off the glare. Miley Cyrus called and she wants to sync with Buddy so that. Oh. Ha, Miley Cyrus has nothing on my shine. But I have to tell you that Jesus, the Son of God, was born tonight. Rejoice! Emmanuel, the Savior of the universe, was born tonight, here in Bethlehem. Oh my goodness! Are you serious? How exciting! Where is he? Can we go see him? Yes, please do. Follow his star by night and you will find the babe wrapped in swaddling clothes. Hmm, I don't know what swaddling clothes means, but I'm assuming when I see the baby, I'll know I'm in the right place. But what does this mean? Why is, the, why is the baby such a big deal? God sent his son, Jesus, so that we could be forgiven of our sins. When we do bad things or make bad choices, we are sinning against God. But, but God loves us so much that he is willing to send his son to us, so that even when we do sin, we are forgiven. It's called grace. Isn't that great? Oh, don't you worry. We know that congregation, too. And that crazy Jerry guy. I still don't get it either how sitting a baby is going to help, though. How is he going to help stop me from sitting? Jesus is coming to help us build a relationship with God. He will be a way for us to see God and know that he loves us. So no matter how far we try to move away from God, Jesus will be there to remind us that God will never give up on us. But seriously, you gotta move on over to the stable. That's the star right over there. Excuse me, fine shepherd. Have you heard of a new superhero coming to save the world? We have been looking for him all day. We're tired. Um, my my fear hurts too. We're scared he's going to take our jobs. <laughs> Whoa. First an angel, now superheroes, maybe this job isn't lame after all. I don't know anything about a new superhero, but did you hear that God's son was born tonight? Wait, did you say God's son? That's our guy. Whoa, 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 whoa. We've not been searching for a baby. How could a baby save the world? I don't really get it either, but let's go see. I just want to see these super baby God things. soon, but what is this about my son taking your job? Well, we heard that Jesus is this new superhero coming to town, and he's going to save the whole world from sin. So we thought no one would need us anymore, but this is just a baby, so we have nothing to worry about, guys. You're right. Phew, I was getting worried. So 
So are they wrong? Is Jesus just a baby? Oh, baby. Oh, baby. <laughs> well, right now he is. But God has great pains in store for him. He will grow up and save us from our own sin. We yeah. heard all about that. An angel <laughs> came to us and told us not to be afraid because Jesus was born, born and that he will bring us grace. You know you're starting to sound like one of those church people? Well, I am. Well, maybe could I come to church with you sometime? Yeah, I think I know just the place to take you. Hold on, hold on. So Jesus isn't going to take over my job? I still get to go out and save people? Of course you can just go save people, but God's in a sense that we can be saved from ourselves and the sins we do. Jesus is reminding us of God's love and how we can share it with others. So now when you go save people, you can tell them about Jesus' power and God's ending love for us. Well, okay, I, well, okay, I think I can do that. Stop right there, mister. I will save you and send you to the but Jesus will save you God's self. I like it. I'm so glad that you all came to see Jesus and that now you will spread God's love. I'm not afraid anymore. I'm trusting God in his plan. This is a very Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas and God's peace! I am surrounded by superheroes. Any other little kids that would like to come up here for just a few minutes are welcome to come on up. Be by Superman and Robin. Just get a seat right here, guys. I'm going to read you a story. And Joseph is awesome. Okay. Come on up, guys. All right, guys, you focus right here. Focus right here on me, just for a few minutes. We're just going to read a quick story about all the things that go on during Christmas. It's out of the book of Luke, chapter 2. Hey, uh, Benaiah, would you bring me them glasses you're wearing? <laughs> I knew for a moment, I thought, I can't see nothing except Benaiah wearing my glasses. In those days, Caesar Augustus issued a decree that a census should be taken of the entire Roman world, which means that everybody had to go back to their hometown. This was the first census that took place while Quininus was governor of Syria, and everyone went to his own town to register. So whatever town you're from, you'd have to go back to that town, whether it be Huffman or Dayton or, or Kennefick or, or Crosby. So Joseph also went up from the town of Nazareth in Galilee to Judea to Bethlehem, the town of David, because he belonged to the house in the line of David. In other words, that's the, the part of his last name, if you would. He went there to register with Mary, who was pledged to be married to him and was expecting a child, which we saw tonight. While they were there, the time came for the baby to be born. As she gave birth to her firstborn, a son, she wrapped him in clothes and placed him in a manger because there was no room for him there in the inn. Now, a manger would be what, guys? Go ahead and answer. That's right. So it was a crib or a place, for what we'd call crib, a place where they'd put the food for the animals. They're in the barn, which is amazing again. And there were shepherds. Where are my shepherds? There we are. And there were shepherds living out in the fields nearby, keeping watch over their flocks at night. An angel of the Lord appeared to them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them. And they were terrified. But the angel said to them, Don't be afraid. I bring you good news of great joy that will be for you and the people today in the town of David. A Savior has been born to you. He's Christ the Lord. This will be a sign to you. You will find a baby wrapped in clothes and lying in a manger. Suddenly, everybody say suddenly. 
Say suddenly, suddenly. suddenly, suddenly. No, say suddenly, suddenly. Say suddenly, suddenly. Now I know where they get it. Suddenly, a great company of the heavenly hosts appeared with the angel, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to men on whom his favor rests. When the angels had left them and gone into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, Let's go to Bethlehem and see this thing that has happened, which the Lord has told us about. So they hurried off, and they found Mary and Joseph and the baby who was lying in the manger. When they had seen him, they spread the word concerning what had been told them about this child. And all who heard it were amazed at what the shepherds said to them. But Mary treasured up all these things and pondered them in her heart. The shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all the things that they heard and seen, which were just as they had been told. This is the story of Christ being born. And the great part of that story was this. They all went and spread the word. You are the next generation that's going to spread the word of Jesus' birth, his death, and his resurrection. Don't be afraid to talk about Jesus. Amen? Amen. Why don't you give all them people a hand out there that came to see you tonight? Would you do that? Yes, sir. Father, we thank you tonight for your blessing and your goodness in our life. We thank Can we do another before I start? Can we all hold hands? Let's just all hold hands up here. And all around the congregation, would you find a hand? The Scripture said this word, peace, that there'd be peace on earth. Do you know what peace is? It's when you're not fighting with your brother and your sister all the time. Jesus came to give us peace. That we're not aggravating and being mean and starting stuff. Quit. Lord, we ask you for peace this Christmas. We ask you for joy this Christmas. We ask you for goodness on this earth this Christmas. The same joy that was in the shepherds, the same joy, Lord, that was in the wise men. Let it be among us now. Let us enjoy your presence and know that during this holiday, it's all about giving. We thank you for what you gave. For you so loved this world, you gave your only begotten son, that if we believed that we could be rescued by you. In Jesus' name. And everyone said... Amen. Now, real quick, guys, in the back, there are some gifts that have been donated by friends of uh, Sambo Molina, who, who went to be with the Lord just a few few weeks ago. And we want to thank you guys for bringing those in uh, from the from the uh, sports bar there. And we're going to make sure we distribute those to kids that are in need. And you know, I was thinking, God, I, I know of some. I'm going to have to give money or this, that, and the other to some. But to have that, what a gift it was. So I thank you again from the bottom of our heart for being a blessing to the kids that we're going to be able to reach. Did you enjoy these kids tonight? Yeah. Amen. Lights up. Yes, ma'am. We've got two more songs. We're going to sing two more songs. Where's my song? Where's, where's the? Is he eating? Stay, stay with My bad. He needs a program. Come on. No, you're going to have to. Somebody's got to play the music. They, no, they don't know what they're singing. Do y'all know Jingle Bells? Yeah. Y'all don't know Jingle Bells? Yeah. Y'all really know Jingle Bells? Yeah. All right, Brother Dick, start them off. Jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one horse open sleigh. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Fun it is to. Y'all know the song, y'all sing it. Hey. Through the snow in a one horse open sleigh. O'er the fields we go, laughing all the way. Ha, ha, ha. Making spirits bright. Fun it is to ride and sing a slain song tonight. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one horse open sleigh. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one horse open sleigh. 
I know all of y'all know what a one-horse open sleigh is, don't you? Yeah, okay. Next song. Would you stand with us? We'll do one more song on our way out. By the way, the food has been blessed. We thank you for those that purchased a, a meal tonight. And if you didn't, there's plenty of food for everyone. So please go back and enjoy the spaghetti and the chicken spaghetti back there. Hit it, Dick. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas and a happy Come on, let's stand up and look at them. Tidings we bring to you in our kin. Good tidings for Christmas and a happy new year. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas and a happy new year. Happy birthday, Jesus! All right, gather in tight, guys. Look at the phone. All you superheroes. Quit that. Come on, Parker. What? Look at the phone. Where's the voice from heaven? Oh, hark, it's the angel. All right, guys, God bless you. Straight back down.